to Tsinghua for one semester and one semester in Tsinghua. I'm going to tell you guys why I want to do it and maybe you guys can think about it if you plan to do it. There are so many missions that you can think of when you want to do the exchange program. Maybe you want to add something on your CV or you want to explore different culture or country. Because as we mentioned before, you can select so many different uh, university that you are interested in. So it may be one of the reasons why. And then other thing is uh, learn about foreign business market. <coughs> as I mentioned before, I went to Europe because I really want to explore more and want to understand business in the Europe. And then broaden your personal network. Uh, what this is one of the reasons. And step out of the comfort zone. Uh, uh, one of the reasons why is uh, I would say that exchange program may not be really suitable if for people who are doing the full-time, uh, 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 part-time program in the NCCU IBA. But I would say that we actually have some other classmates got a no pay leave and then she or he went to uh, other places for exchange for one semester. So it depends if you can actually got that opportunity to explore to different places. <coughs> and then one of the reasons why is like you want to deep deepen your knowledge about globalization. But no matter what you think, taking action is a must if you really want to do it. Uh, this is something my personal experience because I think that if you take action, maybe you have to consider even you have to study longer. This is the reason why. Because I study in the IMB program for one year, I work really, really hard for that. And then later on, I went to one year for the exchange program for two, uh, two semesters. But I thought that the IMB program offered really, really awesome uh, courses for me. So I really want to come back to continue my study. This is my, you could say it's fourth year or third year because I deferred my study for one year at the beginning. So I'm coming back to continue my study. But you have to always bear in mind that you don't really have to pay tuition fee when you go for exchange. So I spent a year travel around, but I actually learned some more things by myself and learn how other people think about it. So I spent one year not in Taiwan, so I came back right now to finish my study. I think that, I hope that I will graduate this semester, but I'm not sure right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would like to give you guys some more background about uh, Tsinghua University. I think you guys should know or may know this university because this is a really, really awesome university in Beijing. And um, one of the reasons I chose it is because the best in China versus the best in Taiwan, because I always think that the IMB program is the best in Taiwan. And then Tsinghua is actually the best in China, if you guys know it. And one of the reasons is like, uh, in Tsinghua University, we got so many like president or really important businessmen uh, coming from this university. So uh, you go to this university, you got more chances to explore to uh, different area and learn some more things about China as well. If you guys want to develop your business in China later on. Um, this is a really long history university. I'm not going to talk about it too much. But uh, if you go for exchange, you're actually going to the School of uh, Economic and Management. This is a business school. And then uh, this uh, faculty is actually pretty new, it's around 30 years old. But uh, you could get a lot of networking over there because uh, the alumni in that university are so strong. And as long as you may know Chinese, it will be even easier for you to get involved with them because they are so welcome for having different kind of people join them and participate other so this is some of the reason why I select to go to Tsinghua because I'm from Hong Kong. Some people may be surprised why I want to go to Tsinghua because uh, we all know that China Chinese market is just so big right now. So it may be good if you want and take the opportunity to go there. And then uh, this is a few reasons why job, business, and friendship. Uh, I did meet some people who are from the Tsinghua University, and this semester I met. One guy from Tsinghua University exchanged to here as well, and we got a really cool cool connection together because I met him before, and then he came to exchange this semester. So 
So this is a kind of really wearable experience that you can have when you exchange. Um, this is the courses that I select in the I'm uh, the what they call is GMB program, and some something are related to leadership, and something are related to knowledge management. It depends what you want to find, uh, but they are all in English, so you don't have to worry anything about it. And then because uh, as I mentioned before, Qingfa is just so big. They got so many recruitment tool or seminar that you can choose. Whatever you have time, just go for it because you never know what will happen next time. So if you go and maybe you are able to meet some people that may be helpful for your future career, but I'm not sure. But as long as you go, as I mentioned before, taking action is really important. So when you go there, just try to explore as much as you can. And then Beijing is, uh, although the weather was not really good, but uh, traveling around is really awesome. Because I've been to Beijing for several times, I really like Beijing. Um, this is uh, the activity I join. Uh, this one is about time management, which is actually offered by a Taiwanese uh, professor or a teacher um, teach you how to manage your time. Because as you guys went to the IB program, you must have to think about how you manage your time. We all know that how we can do it, but uh, just uh, what a pity sometimes you cannot manage. So that is the reason they offer this kind of program for the student who wants to participate in. And this is something that extra I do. It was not offered by the Tsinghua University, but I got the chances to uh, uh, meet some more people. This is actually a, uh, a kind of like a startup event organized by Finan uh, organization. This, it was the first time that they, event, they organized this event in China, and a really, really big event. And I was a volunteer. And other thing, I, uh, you guys may uh, uh, should probably uh, see this professor in the previous uh, presentation. And then he is actually uh, teaching the EMBA program in Tsinghua uh, for the strategic management as well. I, it was so luckily that I met him again in Tsinghua University. Um, he, uh, he actually talked a little bit about uh, Confucianism in that time. And then I got some more chances to join so many free courses. And in this one, it's really awesome that uh, they try to uh, intimate that uh, you are in a real situation. Then you have to learn how you can manage your team and how you can innovate the HR, uh, innovate the R&D product in order to fight you, fight other companies. So this is offered by the Tsinghua University because they have so much resources that you can use. And then I didn't even have to pay for it. But I am sure that if you guys have to pay for it, it may be more than 4,000 4, RMB for just only two days workshop. But I didn't even pay for it. Because I tried to use as much as opportunities as I can when I did the exchange. Uh, last but uh, not least, this is something that um, I do with extra when I was in Beijing. Uh, those candidates are actually from Hong Kong. They are also studying in uh, China, but they are doing like a bachelor's degree. I was like a volunteer uh, or like a helper uh, to guide them and talk them to uh, visit to different company or like different places. So I got the opportunity to do so many things in China. So I thought that half year was really very uh, this is another uh, exchange program that I went. One of the reasons why I chose Germany is so many people told me that Germany is so awesome, but I didn't really believe it. Except that I see it. I really believe it. This place is really awesome. Um, this uh, University of Cologne is a really, really old university. And then this university actually is located in the fourth biggest uh, city in Germany. And then the faculty that uh, we are going to is also like a business uh, faculty. And then the major reason why I want to go there is because um, I think if people can have a chance to go to Europe, they won't really choose to travel in Germany. Hopefully they will go to choose to travel in uh, UK or Paris or Spain.
Spain. But Germany is really a good place that we can probably. And then um, I, I did travel a little bit some other places. But one of the reasons why I chose to go to Germany is because I want to spend some time to think about what I want to do in the future. And then this is a really good time for me, other than uh, like traveling, I actually got more time to manage myself and think about what I want to do in the future. So I chose to go to Germany because I, I know that I will be back to Taiwan to finish my study in this semester. So I got half year to think about what I want to do because I'll tell you guys a little bit about my background. I study fashion and textile in Hong Kong and I work for like a testing industry for four to five years. But as you guys know that uh, because the labor costs in China are uh, increasing, so my industry actually is related to the factory because I did a kind of like testing for the quality of the apparel and clothing. So I was thinking if I want to switch to another career path, maybe I need the knowledge for it. So that was the reason I want to spend some time to think about what I want to do in the future. And I'm planning, maybe possibly, I don't really have to stay in Hong Kong, China, or Taiwan for work, maybe Europe, you never know. And this is the courses that I took in law. And I personally like uh, kind of like management stuff, uh, so I took the courses, which is really, really good. Um, and it's like a workshop that teach you how to manage people and how to cooperate. So I learned a lot in this program. But uh, you guys have to know that uh, because in Germany, if you guys take courses, taking examination is really important. And so they don't have uh, so much uh, group work for them. So management skill is uh, another subject that I really like because I interact with different people from mostly from Europe, other European cities. So it was really awesome. And you got opportunity to, to learn German, but I didn't do it when I was there. And uh, almost I left the country and thought that I may want to go to Germany again. So I'm now learning. But you got free courses for German if you go there. So if you want to learn or if you're learning and you want to practice, it may be good if you spend half a year to actually go there. And as you guys know, Germany likes football beer. If you guys like beer, probably have to go. But I personally don't really like beer, but I drink some kind of beer that is without alcohol. But I didn't like it. But some people feel really awkward, but, but you know, they got so many options. You don't really have to drink alcohol beer in offer, no alcohol. It's just really peaceful. Um, so, another thing is, because I like to put my whole study for myself. Germany is one of the country or places that is really affordable for me because um, I didn't really spend so much money over there. But I also travel a little bit and meet some more friends and then explore some other um, culture and got time to think about what I want to do in the future. So it may be a good option for you guys. Um, if you want to think about exchange, think about some factor that maybe you have to consider away with. I just want to show you guys maybe it's too slow. Uh, this is something that when uh, when you go for exchange you actually can get, but this is too general. And then what I got from the exchange is so many like friendship, network, maybe job opportunity because uh, when I came back I actually got some connection, but since I didn't really graduate so I don't know why I do right now. So this is something that you can have. And on the other hand, because if you guys are doing like a, if you will do a, like a part-time IMB courses here, you are a bit stressful. So exchange maybe offer a time for you to relax a little bit, but to think about what you want to do in the future. Because sometimes if you are under really high pressure, you don't really have time to think about what you want. And the same is in Hong Kong, because before I went for like 12 or 13 hours or 14 hours, you guys can not imagine, but this is just how it's like in Hong Kong. So, what's more is, this is something that you have to pay attention to. Because for some uh, exchange program, you have to pay attention. Sometimes they need some people who have a, like an English proof, even though our whole, uh, whole program are offered in English.
English, but sometimes you need TOEFL or IELTS uh, score, so just pay attention to it. If you want to go to some country or some university that you are interested in. On the other hand, uh, you have to prepare well when you go for exchange, because you don't have to pay for tuition free, but you have to manage your accommodation and living expenses yourself. Uh, when I was in uh, Chinghua, I actually live outside, but luckily when I was in uh, Cologne, the university offered me like a dormitory, which is pretty good and pretty cheap. Uh, it's, it's actually cheaper than Taiwan. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 this is true. Like I, I, I said, like cheaper than Taiwan. It's just only if you rent uh, a room outside uh, campus. Uh, it's, 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 it's more expensive than I pay in Germany. Uh, so. Uh, one of the reasons why I want to uh, go for exchange because as I mentioned before, for the first year I worked really so I worked so hard, so I didn't really have so much time to uh, explore other places. But I learned a lot in the IMB program. So when I go for exchange, I actually apply what I have learned from the IMB program into other places because that was uh, more relaxing for me to apply my knowledge at that moment. Um, and after. You, uh, and um, me, for me, I came back and I want to continue my study for the last semester. But for you guys, if you want to go for one semester, you actually can maximum, uh, like minimum, you can finish your study in two years. So it depends what you want to do or what you think about it. But for me, I just want to come back to continue study the IMB courses because I, I really like it. So this semester I took four courses and I'm trying to write my thesis as well. So the experience you got from overseas, and you took it back, and then you came back, and then you actually apply in other courses that you are having in the IMB program, which is pretty good for me. And I'm now more open-minded than before because I meet so many people from different places. So always remember when you do something, just be open-minded, be prepared, and enjoy your moment. Uh, uh, last but, not, uh, but not least, uh, if you have any question about the exchange program, feel extremely free to talk to the IMB office because they are so helpful to answer your question and uh, if you have any concern. Uh, or I just need to uh, tell you guys, remind you guys, my name is Katja and this is my email address. If you, if you will have questions, just go to IMB office first. <laughs> other places and it was really a vulnerable moment for